Gail Godot is Wonder Woman, and now it's time for the internet to decide how it feels about that. I have mixed feelings. On the one hand, I like that Wonder Woman is going to have somewhat of a Mediterranean exotic look, because uh, Gail Godot is from Israel. She's an Israeli model slash beauty pageant contestant. She was Miss Universe, uh, turned semi-actress, so she does have a strong accent. This will be by far and away her most legitimate role to date. Uh, well, supposedly legitimate. Let's hope she doesn't delegitimize it by her casting or her performance. Uh, and she is well known so far to audiences, or semi-known, uh, from the Fast and Furious films. And I actually quite, quite liked her performance in Fast 6, which, gives, which makes me feel a little better about this casting. Now, granted, I'm not sure if it was Gail Godot's performance in that movie, or that she was the love interest for uh, Sung Kang's uh, Han character. I loved Sung Kang in those films. Uh, I really liked the dynamic between him and Gail Godot, and I liked that they gave him a romance. They were kind of like an international Bonnie and Clyde, uh, which I thought really worked. So I'm not sure if that that setup was what you know, in, um, you know, really caught my interest, or if it was what Gail Godot brought to the role. Uh, but I did feel very bad, spoiler, when her character died, and I thought she handled that uh, that scene very well. She didn't, um, you know, she didn't just go for, like, voguing, which I was one of my problems, for instance, Keira Knightley. I thought Gail Godot took her role seriously in that franchise. So that, again, is a good sign for Wonder Woman. Now, that might be what's going on in Gail Godot's head. Now, I think the bigger concern is what's going on in Zack Snyder's, that he would cast her in this role. He, of course, had pretty much everyone to choose from in all of Hollywood, and any unknown, anybody with the Wonder Woman role is iconic. It, it will be the first time it will be on the silver screen, which is an incredibly unique scenario, uh, especially for such a well-known fictional character to have yet to make it to the silver screen. Uh, so Gail Godot can really make this her own. But, you know, Zack Snyder, by casting a model, I think there's some concern he might be going towards the more, you know, sexualizing Wonder Woman, uh, you know, which he tends to do in his movies with female characters, instead of rather going to making her a hero and an equal, you know, the DC trinity of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. You know, Wonder Woman's not there as the eye candy. She's supposed to be a hero on the same level. So we'll see. I mean, I think that... Zack Snyder, you have to give credit where credit is due. He did a nice job in Man of Steel with Feora with the casting of Aunt J. Traul. I'm trying to say her name right. She's a German actress. She was so good in the role uh, that I thought that, I thought, a number, a number of you did, that we kind of hoped there was some way she could get upgraded to the Wonder Woman role. But don't count Feora out just yet. She is starting to show up in the comics. They've been hinting at that. Um, and she actually, I believe she has shown up at this point. And I don't read Superman comics at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, they're not very good. Uh, and so she's coming back, and, you know, she could come back potentially in the movies as well. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. I don't understand why nobody else has picked her up for another movie. She was so good in Man of Steel. But anyway, so that was well done. But I do have some concern that he could be going back to the kind of the way he uh, depicted Silk Spectra um, in the Watchmen film with Malin Ackerman, which I thought was bad casting. And just the way that role was handled in general was very poor. As I said at the time, I was upset that they took a number of uh, role, uh, lines for the Silk Spectra uh, and gave them to male characters in the same scenes that she was still in. So I was just, I had no idea why they would reassign those lines if Malin Ackerman was standing right there. It's not like they were like, well, we don't want to pay for another day of Malin Ackerman. She was right there. It was nonsensical. But a lot of stuff about the changes that Zack Snyder made to Watchmen were nonsensical. So that's another big question, though. Let's talk about this, the sexualization of Wonder Woman. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, to be fair, had a lot of, you know, before she became really successful, and still does some sexy shots and poses in magazines and stuff. Uh, I often feel this is a very big pitfall for actresses. I think this has hurt Anne Hathaway, that for some reason every actress at some point says, you know what, I want to be considered sexy, damn it. And I think it always kind of hurts their appeal to uh, a wide demographic. I think when you try and go sexy, uh, you tend to only limit yourself to male fans. And that's a losing game. There was a fascinating article that I remember reading it. This was a long time ago, but I remember it because it was such a great simple theory and it really stuck out to me when Halle Berry was in Catwoman. And I believe it was in Newsweek, and it was a really small little blurb, um, and the reporter or reviewer, it might have been a review of Catwoman, said, it's, it's a mistake for Halle Berry to try and play the, the, you know, the sex appeal game because that's all, that's all, new is the, new is the, the new card trumps anything else. So you can never be the reigning sex symbol because 
people prefer new when it comes to sexiness. So even if someone's equally as sexy or not quite as sexy, just because it's like, it's a, it's a new flavor of the month, everyone will gravitate towards that. So if you wanna have staying power, you wanna really get your fans over the long run, you need to have, you need to focus on personality and connecting them emotionally, which I think Jennifer Lawrence is to some degree is doing. You'll see the big box office hits right now are Catching Fire with Jennifer Lawrence. I think she is very likable to uh, both genders. And also um, Sandra Bullock in Gravity. Now, I granted, I didn't like Sandra Bullock's actual performance in Gravity, but Sandra Bullock is a likable actress, I think, to men and women, and that's a big part of it. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't think I would like Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, and I, I ended up really liking her in that role, and I am really feel, it, as many do, that she should get her own movie for heaven's sake. She's just so good in the role. And I really respect, you know, they had a little bit that interrogation scene at the beginning of the Avengers. That wasn't so great, but I understand, you know, you have to, you, you know, you have to have some sexiness, uh, you know, to because it's Scarlett Johansson, I guess. But I think that Scarlett Johansson has done a really good job of not letting that happen to her character. Uh, and I'm excited for what I've seen so far, uh, Captain America, Winter Soldier, for the same reason. So hopefully Gail Godot's Wonder Woman won't just be there for like slow-mo running shots. Uh, and to hook up with Batman, Superman, or both. Uh, that would be just so incredibly disappointing. But so there are two more points I want to hit. The other one, the first other one is, is the question, with the casting of Gail Godot, because she has no track record and really very little star power, uh, and not a lot of, you know, from what we've seen personality, does this mean that Warner Brothers has no intention of creating so a solo Wonder Woman film anytime soon? Because this isn't the kind of casting to me that says, hey, and eventually she'll get her own movie. As I said, I fear that this screams uh, arm candy, eye candy. So I have some concern with that, you know, quite a bit, actually. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that equally important to who plays Wonder Woman, to me, and I think to many people, uh, especially non-comic book readers, is to whether or not she's going to wear pants. Uh, I'm in the pants camp. I think it's ridiculous to have Wonder Woman standing next to Batman and Superman, who both have pants on, and she's going to be fighting in a one-piece swimsuit. I think that's just absurd, and if I think you, if Warner Brothers has any hope of capturing, I'm talking about the big chunk of moviegoers out there who don't read comic books, don't aren't into the fandom at all, and are just going to see that and be like, why does the female hero have to wear a swimsuit? I mean, it could be skin-tight costume. I don't care about that. I understand. And also, for all of you who are like, well, Batman and Superman, or you can see a lot of their muscles, it can be skin-tight. And also, I would point out to you that at least for Batman in the movies, his suit has so much armor built into it that it's not particularly revealing. So it could be like the cat. I thought Catwoman's suit, uh, Anne Hathaway's Catwoman suit was nice. Uh, I like the way the Black Widow is outfitted in the Avengers films. So I, I, I want something that pays um, homage to, obviously, the Wonder Woman look, but I think it needs to be changed for the silver screen because uh, to have in the 21st century a female, the, 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 in many ways, the main female superhero, you know, the archetype of female superheroes uh, and female heroes, to have her walking around without pants and, you know, uh, knee-high boots on, it, it's, it's just really bad. Uh, so that's, and I guess I have some concern that by casting Gail Godot, uh, the conversation might have been, who can, who can wear the costume? Who's going to look good in the costume? Uh, and not, uh, not only that, but who's going to look good in, you know, Zack uh, Zach Snyder's sensibility? Because there are a lot of, you know, um, you know um, uh, extreme fighting. Oh, I, I can't remember the term off the top of my head. Um, you know, the fighting that everybody does right now. Uh, there are some people like that. I think people, a lot of people wanted, um, uh, oh, uh, Gina, Gina Carano for her to be Wonder Woman. Uh, you know, the, there are different looks that could look good in the suit if you were going to go for pantsless. So, but I mean, this is Zack Snyder's sensibility all the way. So let's see if somebody's reining him in. So I want to know what you guys think of Gail Godot as Wonder Woman. Uh, what do you think? What do you think this hints at? Do you think she can pull it off? Do you want to see a Gail Godot Wonder Woman standalone movie? And if Wonder Woman ends up being just eye candy, is that a deal breaker for you? Or are you like, hey, this is a movie where Ben Affleck is Batman. It's all just for fun. It's not anything for us to take seriously. Uh, so write your thoughts down below. And also, I'm curious to know what you think um, of her having uh, her nationality. Do you like the uh, exotic look for Wonder Woman? And also, do you feel her being Israeli uh, will have any effect on the film at all in terms of its global audience? Uh, so write down what you think. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for asking for my opinion on this monumental casting announcement. Uh, and you can check out some more videos right now.